Comedy Central, and that's a good cause. Please welcome Janine Garofalo. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah? That was very funny. Uh, we are, we're going to start sweating like pigs. I like that. Uh, we killed them, but they were clearly not dead. <laughs> <laughs> they actually probably, they were supposed to lay on the ground, I assume? Yes, yes. They dropped and rolled quickly and, and that was my That was my buddy Ebsen, Wizard mm -hmm. of Oz, Omar. You <laughs> killed them. <Yeah. laughs> wasn't part of it? No. Oh, no, I see. That's really. why they weren't dead. Yeah. Okay. No, it's kind of a, just a high school production here all the time. Mm -hmm. It was very <laughs> funny. The pane yeah. of glass was funny. The, the scientist who blinded himself was very good. <laughs> no, and shrieked. Yeah. <laughs> shrieked. You know, we were just out there at, at the tree, as you know, and it's we don't go out there that much while we're here working on the show because it's too intense. It's insane right. out there. People stand around. There are like 100,000 people out there pushing each other. Mm -hmm insanely to get to the tree and all across new york it's it's reached a fever pitch it is true do you enjoy this is this something you uh, like well actually i wanted to uh keeping with your deadbeat dad santa i love what huh oops did somebody say a little louder or uh, do i need some water something upstairs oh never mind this is they'll fix it in post Remember <laughs> what? Yeah. let's start all over again so they can edit okay. it let's start as though you just said something funny <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I've been the out of context Santa sightings like the deadbeat dad. Uh -huh. uh, on Sunday, I was walking on Broadway and there was a Santa, uh, um, Salvation Army Santa or what have you, arguing with his girlfriend on a cell phone. It was so funny. <laughs> Can I stand up? For yeah, this? yeah. Friend, like, okay, the Santa uh, holding a cell phone and like, you know, with the ear going, no, that's not, we, we agree that. Seven o'clock, I would be at your mother's. <laughs> Seven o'clock. And he was just yelling, and then if you moved on around the store, there was a bunch of the store elves smoking a butt, like, you know, <laughs> huddling in a group, you know, and there was coffee smoke break. I always am always amused by that type of... Uh, for children to see it, that's the important thing. Yeah, I think children should see the high-tech Santa on the <laughs> cell phone. Do you go to a lot of parties? Do you, do you visit the I, scene? Well, what, you know, in the holiday season, there's... It, like a holiday Christmas party like for a week before Christmas and then there's the New Year's. So all last week I went to a Christmas party of some kind and the the blackout phenomena which I'm going to discuss now. Um, so I go to Christmas parties and there's always open bars which is very dangerous for me because it's like woohoo open bar you know <laughs> and like by the third glass of Cabernet I, all bets are off. I don't even know what's going on and I have the platform shoes on so it's crazy. Because I'm now, I'm really into the spice. Girl. Good Lord, look and, at that! Um, <laughs> you spice, could, you yeah. could kill someone with those. Uh, well, see, here's the trick: the, is, is those things are loaded with contraband. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I figured Ryan if opened. I'm if I'm taller, I can drink more. Mm -hmm. So these make me. <laughs> so um. Good thinking. So I go to one of the, I go to the uh, Comedy Central Christmas party, mm -hmm. and I had like three glasses of Cabernet, and then I remembered, oh my God, I have to walk my dog. It's midnight. So in these shoes, I go to walk my dog. Let me just tell you, during the holiday season, never walk a hundred pound dog in platform shoes after three glasses of wine. And I'll tell you why. So I'm walking the dog and a skateboarder goes by and my dog's obsessed with skateboarders. He took off like you would not believe and I had the leash wrapped around a couple of times, literally lifted me off my feet and dragged me a little bit and I had a bubble jacket on. Both elbows bloodied through a bubble jacket and my knees, and there were so many like NYU kids around, I had to pretend I thought it was really funny. But it wasn't funny at all. I would have, I would have cried so hard if I could have, and I had a goose egg on my forehead, and it was so embarrassing. And then I realized, you know what, I don't want to go all the way back home, I want to go back to the party. So I brought him to the Comedy Central party, and as soon as Dew got into the party, Isaac Hayes sat down, the singer Isaac Hayes, with his plate of dinner, and Dew jumped over the table, pulled the plate off, ate everything on the plate in about two seconds, and Isaac Hayes said something like, that's cold. <laughs> that's cold. Don't mess with and Isaac it went, Hayes. And it was, it was cold. And um, it was straight up cold. And you know, I, I saw, it's, it's funny, because this is completely unrelated, but we knew you were going to be coming on the show tonight, mm -hmm. and two nights ago, I run into you, and mm -hmm. kindly you say, hey, you want to see my dog? So go over to your apartment, and... <laughs> you want to see my dog? Woo! <laughs> and I said, there are no... I said, there are no dogs here. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Later, I woke up. Mm, mm, mm. No wallet. What happened? But you did. You, so you I woke up in the play. Port Authority, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you had been rolled. <laughs> yeah. You, uh, so you, you've walked, too. You walked, yeah, and, and you took off when I saw you running, see Conan, big, like, huge Conan's jacket. I see his Conan's jacket flapping in the breeze as dude's running around the park. Well, that's so. what I do. I don't like to walk a dog, and mm -hmm. especially if it's a big dog. I like to run a dog. Yeah. And it was very nice of you, but I, don't, I, I think it weirded you out a bit because you said, yeah, you can talk off with him. And so I started running as fast as I could with this dog, and we just took off, and we went around, like, Washington Square Park, uh -huh. and looking like, I looked like John Tesh, like, gone mad. <laughs> this big, hulking goon with a dog. But I was going to say, so after the getting to, to the Christmas party thing about the blackout phenomenon, and I don't know if this has happened to any of you when you've had too much to drink, then all of a sudden it's like cut to the next morning. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, okay, so after that night, the, the Isaac Hayes thing, then I remember that, and then the next thing was it was dawn. I was in my living room, fully clothed, all the lights on, TV's on. I've got the remote in one hand and the dog leash with no dog in the other hand. I just woke up and there was a bag of, uh, I mean, a box of fat-free Pop-Tarts at my feet. So even in my drunken stupor, I go to the deli and get fat-free food. <laughs> and, uh, but that's the thing, I'm like, wh what happens in those autopilot hours when you just wake up again? Because obviously some things occur, like because my contacts were out, my face was washed and I was moisturized. But I, but everything else, but I, and I had my coat on still and everything, and I was just sitting, and the TV was on. Wait, where's the dog? You said the dog was... The dog was in my bed. The dog was in my bed. Watching TV with the changer. <laughs> yeah. Just watching yeah. watching yeah. Isaac Hayes yeah. next to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sitting there. They had a high old time. I've seen pay-per-view. i got to ask you about this, because we're running tight on time, but... I, I find out recently that you, you joined the Friars Club, which I didn't did. seem like you somehow. I know, I did. And also, Louis Black is a friar, and we just had... Um, Explain what a friar... I don't think people even friar, know in the rest I of the country. I actually don't really know myself. I know that the fri Friar Tuck, right? So they have the brown robes well, you did, and, a, you did and a, your research, their balding, yeah. balding pate, but a ring of hair. Yeah. And um, so, a friar is like Milton Burrell's a friar, you know? It's like... Shecky Green. Shecky Green. The old-time comics have this club. School. Right, so I go to lunch at the Friars Club, and Louis also who's going to be out here was there and only at the Friars Club do you hear things like tell Soupy that story tell Soupy because Soup, Soupy Sales is in the room and he uh -huh. wants to hear that story and the, or some guy will walk by and, the, and uh, one of the Friars will lean over to you and say he was once engaged to Elizabeth Taylor that'll be somebody's claim to fame and then I was at the coat check and behind mm -hmm. me two gentlemen were uh, going to check their coats and one gentleman says that's a great hat and he says it's my going to shul hat so there's a lot of people that go to shul at the Friars Club. And, uh, what is technically is going to shul? It's a, it's a Jewish tradition of some kind. No, it's, it's, it's school. It's, he, it was a shul. joke. Oh, no. he, it was a joke because it was... No, it's not. Probably, it's, it's, it's not shul. a joke. It's, it's shul. It's like at the Hadassah Max. and the yeshiva. Andy. What is shul? Max. Max Weinberg. What shul. is shul? What is shul? Shul? Yeah. Shul is school. <laughs> But school, is, but it, school is school. Shul Wait a minute, you don't know what the hell it is, do you? How do I know? Temple. Temple. Uh, it's what? Temple. It's what? a temple. It's a temple. Right. right. It's, it's going to temple. Max. Right. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. So, of course I knew that. What the hell? So, stay in shul. I, I don't I think he's really Jewish. He's not. <laughs> I think he just it's a fake yeah. for a showbiz yeah. thing. Yeah. He's not Asian. There hasn't been like a big Jewish rock drummer. I'll make it fine for him. That's it. Skip O'Callan is his name. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta mention this. This is a very nice thing you're doing. Comics Come Home 3 is New Year's Eve at midnight. Right, it's a benefit for the Cam Neely Foundation, which is a foundation that works with families who have children with cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, on New Year's Eve, it'll be a live... Uh, it couldn't be a live broadcast. I already did it. <laughs> the hell am I talking about? No, you must be mistaken. It's live. <laughs> live. I don't know why I just said that live broadcast but it's in the can so it's yeah. not live you meant lively it's lively it's a lively yeah. broadcast lively and fun and they're gonna have a number you can call to donate to the cam neely foundation a very oh, nice thing to do janine thanks so much for coming here it's a uh, very nice time of year to see you thank you yes happy christmas happy and christmas happy holidays you. and the whole thing janine garofalo everybody lewis black is coming up we'll see you in a second